name is Dr. Claire Francomano, and I'm a medical geneticist and an internist. I did my training at Johns Hopkins University Medical School uh, back many, many years ago, and um, I completed medical school there, did my training in internal medicine and medical genetics there, and also trained in clinical molecular genetics. I was for many years on the faculty at Johns Hopkins and then went to the National Institutes of Health as the clinical director of the National Human Genome Research Institute. And my current position is as director of adult genetics at the Harvey Institute for Human Genetics in Baltimore, Maryland. Nitric oxide was discovered in the early 1980s, and it was first recognized that there was a factor that caused relaxation of the blood vessels. And this was called endothelium relaxation factor. And then eventually scientists found that this relaxation factor was actually nitric oxide. The science of nitric oxide is extremely well documented. A recent search of PubMed showed that there are over 112,000 articles in the peer-reviewed literature documenting the effects of nitric oxide in biology. The Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine was awarded to Drs. Ignaro, Furchgott, and Zawadowski uh, for their role in the discovery of nitric oxide and its effects in biology. Nitrates and nitrites are molecules that are precursors to nitric oxide. Um, nitrates consist of one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of oxygen, and nitrites have one atom of nitrogen and two atoms of oxygen. And of course, nitric oxide is one and one. Well, nitrates and nitrites are converted to nitric oxide by the chemical process that's called reduction. Um, one oxygen atom is removed from nitrate to form nitrite, and then another oxygen atom is removed to form the nitric oxide. Nitrates and nitrites are derived from many sources in our diet. Uh, fruits and vegetables are really excellent sources of uh, nitrates and nitrites, uh, particularly green leafy vegetables, and noni is a particularly excellent source of nitrates and nitrites. Nitric oxide has an extremely short lifespan. It's less than a second. Nitric oxide is very powerful despite its very short lifespan because of the way it acts in the body. It serves as what we call a second messenger, uh, which sends signals between cells and into the bloodstream and that have very long lasting effects, even though the gas itself only lasts a very, very short time. When nitrates are eaten, um, there's a process that goes on in the mouth where the nitrate is converted to nitrite by bacteria. There's a chemical process that is actually catalyzed by an enzyme that we in humans don't have. The bacteria have this enzyme. So the nitrates convert to nitrite by the process of reduction, and then we swallow the nitrites and the nitrites are converted to nitric acid in the acidic environment of the stomach. A vasodilator is a compound or a chemical that causes the arteries in the body to dilate. Vasodilation is a very important process for the maintenance of healthy blood pressure and also to get the nutrients that the body needs to all the corners and nooks and crannies at the very ends of our arterial tree. The dilating properties of nitric oxide were actually recognized very, very early in the discovery of nitric oxide because the um, initial recognition of nitric oxide as a substance was as the compound that was initially called endothelium relaxation factor. So that dilating property of nitric oxide was one of the hallmarks in the very, very initial stages of its discovery. Many, many of those 112,000 studies uh, focus on the vasodilation effects of nitric oxide. Um, there are many documented studies looking at the effects on blood pressure, which is a direct effect of the vasodilation caused by nitric oxide. So substances that produce a lot of nitric oxide in the body cause documented decreases in blood pressure. There are many functions in the body that are very dependent on nitric oxide concentrations. Just a few of the really important ones are the regulation of blood flow, pulmonary function, 
the inhibition of platelet aggregation, which inhibits clot formation, our immune system is highly dependent on nitric oxide, and pain perception is also highly influenced by nitric oxide. There are many, many studies that have documented the effects of nitric oxide on the cardiovascular system. The early ones really focused on blood pressure, uh, documenting that nitric oxide helps support a healthy blood pressure and can reduce blood pressure in people with high blood pressure. There have also been studies showing that nitric oxide is correlated with the rates of myocardial infarction and heart health in general, including congestive heart failure. Nitric oxide has documented antimicrobial effects. There have been several studies looking at the effects of nitric oxide in the stomach for bacterial infection and also in urinary tract infections. We use the word pathogen to describe an organism that can be um, can cause damage in the human body. Nitric oxide concentrations in the stomach are called the first line of defense against pathogens because that nitric oxide in the stomach can actually work against the pathogens and destroy them before they ever get into the bloodstream. Well, often in the food that we eat, there may be pathogens that can cause disease. And the nitric oxide in the stomach acts as our first line of defense against those pathogens by killing it off before it ever gets into the bloodstream. There have been several very, very interesting studies looking at the effects of nitric oxide on patients in intensive care units. Because of several factors when patients are treated in the intensive care unit, nitric oxide in the stomach goes down dramatically. People are intubated, they have tubes down their throats, and they're not swallowing, so there's no saliva circulating. And so the nitric oxide levels go down very far, and this can affect immunity and affects that first line of defense against pathogens coming into the body. So people have studied nitric oxide and the administration of nitric oxide in patients in the intensive care unit, and they have found this has very beneficial effects. Nitro Extreme takes the very powerful nitric oxide precursor benefits of Nitro FX and extends it by adding certain compounds that are actually um, even more powerful for human health. CoQ10 is a very important cofactor for enzymes that are involved in the production of ATP, which is the major source of energy in the body. And because energy is required for every single organ system and every function in the human body, the CoQ10 is necessary for all of those processes. Niacin is a vitamin, it's one of the B vitamins, and it's very important in the metabolism of carbohydrates, fat, and protein. It's known to increase blood circulation, and it also decreases cholesterol and triglycerides. Magnesium is a very important element. It supports normal blood pressure and helps with muscle relaxation for people who are having problems with muscle spasm. It's also very important in the metabolism of carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Zinc is a very important element as it plays a role in a, as a cofactor in many, many enzymes in the body. It's important for healthy immunity and it also supports metabolism of all the major elements such as carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Chromium is a very important element for the maintenance of a healthy blood sugar level. It increases our, our sensitivity to the hormone insulin, which is important for glucose metabolism, and it also increases the uptake of blood sugar into the cells. Kayani Nitro Extreme has additional elements added to it to enable increased production of nitric oxide and to help with individuals who have additional stress and extra stress in their lives who might need a little extra boost. The use of Nitro FX or Nitro Extreme enhances the body's ability to utilize the nutrients in the other Kayani products because it increases the circulation relaxes the blood vessels, and allows the blood to carry those additional nutrients out to the rest of the body and deliver them safely and effectively. I believe that just about anybody could benefit from Nitro FX and Nitro Extreme. People who are 
have additional stress in their lives will benefit from the additional elements in Nitro Extreme and everyone can benefit from the multiple, multiple benefits of increased nitric oxide derived from the use of Nitro FX. Nitric oxide has been called the molecule of life and we know that Nitro FX and Nitro Extreme are excellent producers of nitric oxide. So by the use of Nitro FX and Nitro Extreme, we are really helping to support life and good health.